Last week, I went to visit my mom, who lives in upstate New York, just below Lake Ontario. I left early in the morning. It was pitch dark, and the fog hung heavy on the ground. By the time I reached the New York State line, the fog was beginning to burn off, revealing a brilliant morning sunrise. As the sun rose, filtered by the last remnants of the fog, it looked like an orange orb suspended in a cloudless blue sky. All around me, the trees were changing into their autumn hues of red and orange and yellow. The fields lay with the last remnants of the harvest. Deer lurked in the woods. Birds crisscrossed the sky in preparation for their migrations. The sun glistened off the lakes and the rivers. The mountains loomed on either side. I found myself overwhelmed at times by the sheer beauty of what was around me. At times it almost brought me to tears. It wasn't the first time this has happened in the last few months. In fact, it's been an almost regular occurrence whenever I find myself out in the world. As I talk to friends and colleagues, they've shared similar experiences. I think part of it is that we are held hostage by our technology these days. A technology that we have become used to over the years, but now in the midst of isolation and quarantine becomes oppressive. School attended by the screen. Countless Facebook posts. Zoom meetings, one after another for hours upon hours. Webcasts to watch, videos to prepare, texts to answer, emails that clutter up our inbox. It swamps us. It drains us of our energy, our creativity. It makes us restless, scattered. We hear the call of nature. Come. Come and find your home. Find rest. Find peace. And so we go and sit, we walk the wood trails, we drive in the countryside. We go there not only for peace, but there we find a glimpse of God as well. A reminder that all is well in God's hands. Even in the midst of this crazy time we find ourselves in. And so as things began to overwhelm us, as our brains become more and more scattered, as we are feeling restless and Ill, Ill at ease, we would do well to go for a walk or a drive or take a boat down the river or just sit and listen to the carols of the birds and the wind in the trees. The voices of God reminding us that we are home and all will be well all will be well god comes to us as one unknown a breath unseen unheard as though within a heart of stone or shriveled seed in darkness sown, a pulse of being stirred, a pulse of being stirred. God comes when souls in silence lie and thoughts of day depart, half seen upon the inward eye, a falling star across the sky of night within the heart. 
of night within the heart. God comes to us in sound of seas, the oceans few man foam. Let small and still upon the breeze, a wind that stirs the tops of trees, a voice to call us home. A voice to call us home.